Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Ann Cookson here from Christology and Baker's Quality Pizza Crusts in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Ann, thanks for jumping on with me today. Thanks for having me, Stacy. Happy to be here. It's my pleasure. The idea of your food is making my mouth water right now. So if you don't mind, I'd love to ask you questions about both of your businesses. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. And who doesn't love pizza, right? Totally. Exactly. <laughs> it's the go-to. <laughs> When people ask you what Christology does and Baker's Quality Pizza Crusts does, how do you describe your businesses? Um, the most simple way is, is that we manufacture pizza crusts. Uh, and I generally get the question like, what the heck does that mean? You <laughs> manufacture pizza crusts. Um, we're really just um, a medium-sized bakery. Um, and we produce several different types of varieties of pizza crusts on our lines and we distribute them throughout the country through wholesale and locally throughout retail. Tell me a little bit more about the different lines that you have. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, so we're really known for our cracker crust, which is a very traditional Midwest style crust, like the bar pies that you'll find in downtown Milwaukee. Um, and they're very thin. It's a very unique product. And then we have fresh doughs. So like freezer to oven, like you see on a, a DiGiorno pizza, for example, in the freezer section, it rises in your oven. Mm -hmm. And we also have a line of dough balls that we sell mostly wholesale going into restaurants that no longer want to make their own dough. They want to simplify and streamline their processes and get a bit more consistency in their pizza. Okay, so you're definitely diverse, and that's really a core of a lot of businesses having different re revenue streams. So, congratulations on that. My next question for you is What were your plans when you started your business, and how have they changed? Now, I know you've got a long history of pizza in your family. Would you love to share that? Yeah, sure. So, we go back in the pizza industry in Milwaukee to the mid 60s. My grandfather had a chain of pizza restaurants, and through the years, the business has changed. There was a commissary at one point, a distributor at another point, and each generation as they take over or enter the business puts their own stamp on it. So uh, when my parents um, came into the business and they made it their own, they sold the distributor and they spun off the pizza crust portion of the business and turned it into Baker's Quality Pizza Crusts. And that was in 97. And so we've been operating like that for about 25, 26 years now. And my brother and I are now buying the business from them. And we are putting a focus on retail, which is where Christology is coming in. It's a retail three pack of our cracker crusts. Mm -hmm. um, we've been selling those direct to consumer for the last three years. And um, just actually this month, we're launching it into retail. Oh my gosh, congratulations. So exciting. Thank you. So what is the biggest way you impact the community? Probably mostly through employment. Um, we have extremely competitive wages. We've taken over 25% wage increases over the last year and a half to try to keep up with cost of living for our employees. Wow. Um, the majority of the employees that we have here are from minority groups, and we put a high emphasis on that as well. Our tenure here is excellent. I've not had to hire anybody in the last year, which I don't know many companies that can say that we've retained everyone that we've had. Wow. Um, and I like to think that that makes a huge impact on their work-life balance on everything. Absolutely. That's incredible. And you're so right about employing in in 25% wage increases. That that. That's pretty significant, not even pretty, it's very significant and that can really affect a business. So congratulations for helping your employees continue to grow with you. What is one challenge that you have faced that other business owners could learn from? So this is really interesting and it's gonna go back to the pandemic, which I know we all love to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I said Christology was born out of the pandemic it was really a, a necessary evil because when we went into 2020, we had the one company, Baker's Quality Pizza Crusts, and we thought we were very well diversified. Mm -hmm. We sold into bars, restaurants, universities, sporting venues, uh, resort communities, literally everything that closed when the wow. pandemic hit. Um, mm. 
So we were super confident in our, in our diversity. And then it ended up being not diversified at all mm. when it came to COVID, um, which is something, you know, we never saw coming, but it really opened our eyes for the need to have additional revenue streams just outside the wholesale. So, mm. you know, we lost 90% of our business when COVID hit and we were sitting here just twiddling our thumbs, spinning our brains, trying to figure out what we were going to do. Retail's blowing up right now. Let's just go after that. So we quickly spun up a package, a brand, threw up a website and just put Crestology out there as a direct to consumer. And it did very well. Um, people literally ate it up. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Absolutely. What a huge challenge and, and really such a different way to think about. Yeah, you everything you said about your diversity, you know, going into all these different markets, that is incredible that it, it is diverse, but it's not at the same time. And thank you for sharing how you changed into retail to consumer. Very interesting. So what does the future look like to you? And do you have an exit plan? I know we talked before and you've got little ones. Um, what does the future look like? I have no idea. I don't. <laughs> I honestly, I have no idea. Uh, we're still um, going through our business transition to my brother and I. I mean, we've got many years left in us and we truly love what we do. I love coming to work every day. We love to work together. We are having a lot of fun. Uh, we're growing at a very fast clip, which keeps you on your toes. So, you know, I'm not ready for an exit strategy yet. At some point, I'm sure we'll we'll figure one out. But for now, we're just hitting the gas. Love it. So just a side question. When um, your parents took over the business, did you have any inkling that you would eventually do something? Or were you just... Go, go for it, mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, they, um, I was, I was in eighth or ninth grade when they started Baker's Quality and I, both my brother and I worked here through high school and the summers during college. Mm -hmm. I never thought I was going to join the business. It was not on my radar. I have an animal science degree. Wow. I managed horse farms for a long time. You know, this was a complete 180 for me. Um, but I think you reach a point in your life where you want to do your own thing. Um, the idea of managing myself, not, this is very type A, but not answering to anybody else, you know, making my own decisions was very appealing to me. Mm -hmm. As my husband and I started thinking about starting a family, I wanted the flexibility that owning my own business afforded me. Mm -hmm. And so, I, yeah, I made the decision to go back to school for business and came and I entered in as a, on a, on a management level. Okay. And yeah, it's all. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that with me and, and for, with our viewers. It's just very interesting to hear different family business stories as well. And it's valuable. So thank you for sharing that. So all subjects open. What inspires you most? Oh, the grind. Really? I, yeah. I love seeing the results of you know, when you get down really granular, the little things that you do every day don't seem like a lot, mm -hmm. but when it culminates in a big sale or something like that, it's so motivating, um, you know, and, and I try to think about that when I'm in the grind during the day, I'm like, God, this feels like nothing's ever going to pop. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? This is not working. Like, okay, well, you felt like this a month ago and then something really cool happened. Um, so, you know, I try to remind myself of, you know, where there's downs, there's ups. Absolutely. That's so, so true. Thank you for sharing that. So if somebody wants to enjoy your pizza crust, how can they contact you or if they want to, you know, carry it somewhere, what is the best way for them to get in touch with you? So if you want to buy our crusts as a consumer, it's crustology.com. Orders over $30 ship free to your house and uh, the Milwaukee area is an over free overnight ship. If you're interested in carrying our products in another capacity, grocery store, retail, um, you can reach out directly to me through the contact us on either the Baker's Quality website or the Christology website has a wholesale page as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your awesome story, your business story, and your awesome pizza with the world. Thank you very much. You take care, Anne. I'm looking, actually, I'm looking forward to ordering some this weekend, so I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.